Hello, everyone. My name is Eric Cave. I'm your director of Next Gen Ministries for the Pacific Northwest Conference. And today I'm really excited to invite my friend Evelyn here to share with you about our Emerge Retreat, the retreat we had for young adults just last weekend at Cascades Camp. Um, in our conference, we highly value the ministry to young adults, and we want to see it emphasized in our churches and to the young adults in our conference. And so uh, one of the ways we do that is through this retreat. We've This is, our, I think, our fifth year we've done it. We had to take a few years off for COVID, but we've been back for a few years. And um, it's been just a blast to have the opportunity to spend the weekend with young adults from across our conference. Evelyn, who is with us, uh, started off as a participant two years ago, and then we invited her to join our leadership team, and she was just fantastic part of that this year. So I'm really glad to have you here, Evelyn. Um, please just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about who you are and how you're involved in ministry. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. First off, um, my name is Evelyn Madrid Fierro, and I am um, from Seattle, Washington. A little bit about myself is that I currently work as a lab technician in an environmental facility. Um, I love to play music. I love to cook and I love to read. I probably have too many books for my own good, but that's besides the point. It's it's whatever. Um, and I am part of Iglesia Esperanza Viva here in Sumner, Washington. Um, I have been part of that church for about five to six years now. And, and um, it's been amazing to watch that church grow and to be able to help discover God and accept him and, and just um, develop that relationship with him. Uh, my involvement in, in ministry originally comes from um, worship. I am a musician and I've been playing uh, the piano and saxophone so for several years now. I've been part of the worship team for about five years. So just about as long as I've been at that church. Um, I've had the privilege this last year to become the worship leader. And early last year, Iglesia Esperanza Viva decided to um, reinstate having a youth group program. It stopped because of COVID and they just saw that teenagers and kids and young adults really wanted um, to have that back. So I've also had the privilege to um, become a youth group leader there. And um, I work in that ministry as well. So it's been a great journey and I'm really happy the way that it's been growing. Thank you. This year you got to serve on the Emerge Leadership Team. It was a ton of fun mm -hmm. for me to get to serve with you on that team. What was the experience like for you and, and what specific roles did you play at Emerge this year? Yeah, um, being part of the team was actually really, um, really, it, it was a really great experience. I loved being able to bounce ideas back and forth between um, some other young adults that are part of the uh, leadership team and to be able to plan um, the entire Emerge uh, weekend for young adults and just work on like translation and getting a little bit of the Spanish involved and stuff like that. I um, had the privilege to serve as a leader, uh, as a worship leader at Emerge as well during the sessions. And that was also an awesome experience, being able to see not, not only from um, the front, being able to see the entire group of all different kinds of backgrounds and young adults and um, them come together uh, to worship God and to be able to um, praise him either in English or in Spanish because we um, melded those two um, languages together during the worship session. So that was amazing. It was an awesome role to be in. And you did a great job. And like like you mentioned, it was really fun because we sang almost all of the songs in both Spanish and English, mm -hmm. which I think was really helpful because we had more Spanish speakers at this retreat than ever before, which was also really great. And I'll just say it's a really big uh, value for myself and for our conference to have young adults leading this retreat for young adults and to see you stepping up and leading that way and the others who did our MCs and leading games and finding different activities was fantastic. It was so much fun. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So what other than, you've already mentioned uh, some things about worship and such, but other than that, like what were some of the highlights for you personally for the retreat? That's a tough question, just because I feel like the entire weekend was the whole highlight to be able to go as a trip yeah, at Emerge. Yeah, um, yeah. It's it's an awesome opportunity, and I really had a lot of fun. 
Um, some of the highlights more specifically though, are uh, the different sessions that we had with, with the messages uh, that are really applicable to, I feel like my life and to a lot of other young adults, especially with anxiety and navigating that um, through the word and being able to develop that relationship with God um, and inviting other people from the conference to come and speak. I thought that was really cool and really meaningful being able to play some larger group activities like um, Pictionary and the photo at the scavenger hut was my absolute favorite um, and being able to work in teams to try to just uh, make sure that we get all the prompts and the photos were really fun. Um, the hike was also fun, even though that it was raining the entire time. I thought it was really cool just because that chance we got to really mix and get to know a lot of people. I actually have a couple new friendships because of it. So I thought that that was really cool. Um, Emerge is just full of fun experiences and I think it's, it's really meaningful. So yeah, yeah. Well, unpack that a little bit more. Why do you feel like an retreat, a retreat like this is important for young people today? I think it's it's not just a fun experience, but it's also, like you said, it was meaningful. It's important to me, and I feel like to other young adults that have gone, um, because you get to know other people you're, uh, around your same age. I know that some churches, like mine, is a little smaller, so getting to know a lot of people around um, your age in their like early, late teens, early 20s, young adults, is a little bit more difficult, especially the ones that, that believe and God, I feel like there's a lot that mm -hmm. uh, can be unpacked there. But I feel also that that it's a great way to kind of really focus in on our spirituality and being able to focus on God uh, that entire weekend, kind of step back from our daily lives and just come here and really experience that during the sessions. So it provides, um, it's kind of, for me, I think it feels like it serves as a catalyst to be able to really come back and focus on God and just make sure that um, we stay grounded in that. And I came back with uh, with joy in my heart and really refreshed and with some new ideas that I'd like to share out there um, and not just keep them to myself, but really um, share the word of God through these um, these different messages. And So if a church or a young adult or someone who knows a young adult or watching this video right now and wondering, hmm, should I get involved or encourage the young adults I know to get involved? What would you say to them? If they would ask me, I would say yes, 100%. To the young adults that are watching this, mm -hmm. this Emerge is specifically for you. Um, it's led by young adults. It's helped plan by young adults. And it's for young adults. So it's for you to learn, to get to know God, to, to learn alongside others and to get to know them. Um, and to have some fun alongside the way. If you're on the fence about it, I definitely highly recommend it. Um, so uh, just to stay out, uh, stay on the lookout for the announcements for it next year and to the churches that are watching as a whole or church leaders that are thinking about announcing this to uh, your young adults at your church, I'd say getting involved as a church in general, as a church leader, is just a great way to kind of encourage and support your young adults through this journey. Um, to kind of help guide them in the path and be able to help develop their relationship with God and to help them grow both personally and spiritually. So yeah, I'd say get involved with Emerge. It's really fun and it's a great experience. Well, um, Evelyn, thank you again for uh, your leadership and for jumping in and getting involved. I know you're looking forward to next year. And so am I. I think uh, we have built some really great momentum and it's just going to get better and better. So I can't wait. Is there anything you're like specifically looking forward to for next year? I'm looking forward to the new ideas or um, any new connections that we have in the Bible. I thought that was really cool. I also thought that um, the group activities after the sessions, whether if it's going out on a hike or playing a large group activity. I thought that that was really fun this year. So I'm looking forward to those next year. And uh, I'm looking forward um, to Emerge growing and to seeing Emerge in general just grow, hearing new ideas and seeing new young adults come out and learn um, and have some fun along the way is, is always a great experience. And it's always great to see. Well, thank you again, Evelyn. Um, I'm going to include your email in the blog post. So if anybody has questions about Emerge and want to talk to a real live young adult about the retreat, <laughs> I'm going to get yourself available yeah. for that. And thank you for being here today, Evelyn. Yeah, of course. Thanks, Eric. Uh -huh.